Hey, so uh, my YouTube channel isn't dead yet. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you all to the Cryptech YouTube channel revival. I've been away for three weeks to France and in that time I've actually been really productive. I've been doing a lot of uh, useful stuff like um, growing a beard. As you can see, we're almost at 2K subs, which I'm super grateful for. Uh, so if you like what you see, smash that motherfucking subscribe button and the bell next to it so we can get to 2K subs ASAP and you can join the belgian waffle gang or whatever and <laughs> shout out to robbie van herwegen he is the winner of previous videos plug-in giveaway he won himself a license of cheese machine pro a super duper flooper scooper pooper uh, synthesizer by none other than together audio thank you again for sponsoring previous video so yeah i hope you enjoy that man thanks to everyone who supported the video and entered the contest anyways today's video will be a bit less serious i, I don't want to turn this channel into a classroom Boring. i feel like i need to switch things up a bit on this channel and not only upload tutorials so while i was away in france i was definitely not wasting my time watching funny animal videos and i got this great idea of making a drum and bass slapper using weird animal sounds because that hasn't been done before i will also be doing this on fl studio 20 since a lot of you guys ask me to make videos on fl studio instead of logic pro so yeah without any further ado let's uh take a look at our source materials So yeah, some very interesting sounds with some very interesting structures. Uh, and then we have this as well. Extreme animals making hilarious funny noises dot mp4. Hey, that's me and the homies. Submotions. And of course, you can't forget the classics. Okay, so let's move all of this into FL Studio and start a new project. See what, what we can come up with. <clears throat> Hello, yes, I am in a new outfit. I got a haircut and a new pair of glasses, all in the middle of a video. Welcome to the Cryptek channel. As usual, I start my project out with my drums. So I start with a kick. I add a snare. I add another snare. And then a crispy clap. Then usually I stack a bunch of percussive layers on top of each other. Uh, but now I just use my patron loops uh, for a faster workflow. Okay, great. Now that we got our drums sorted, we can start transforming these innocent little animals into big, fat, dotty bass lines. Just chop some interesting samples out of source material. <laughs> and then play around with them and find something interesting pattern-wise. Okay, so once you got your fairly interesting pattern, it's time for some dark magic sound design. Basically for most of these, I just clean up the sample with an EQ and compression, and then I manipulate the shit out of it using stuff like delay, Ring modulation, phaser, flanger, pitch shifting, stretching, chopping, stuff like that. So the bases are starting to really come together, uh, but I'm not quite content with the second base. So I'm just going to pull another base out of my ass and layer that on top of each other because layering is good. Uh, 
Okay, perfect. This base pattern already has me trying my hardest not to put my gun fingers in the air constantly. So that's a good sign. I'm going to move on now to this sub base. I'm going to add a bit of weight to everything. So yeah, just uh, use a preset here or whatever. doesn't really matter. Already sounds a bit better, but it's not bringing out enough um, booty shaking. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste this channel setting from an FL project, which I dropped on my Patreon page. And there we go. The process sub is sounding much better. For the intro, I'm just going to chop some more samples up and try to layer them with stuff like synths and white noises. Automation is always good to bring some motion and life into your projects. So uh, yeah, just, just automate it, bro. Next, I wanted to tease the synths a little. So I just bounced those out and put a huge amount of reverb on there, basically. Quick tip, if your kicks are sounding dry as fuck, like mine are, then here's what you do. Reverse that motherfucker. Okay, so next step is you want to have your dog crash on you because you um, were named a massive crash. What? <clears throat> yeah, so just use a preset again. Hit like if you're in preset gang. Next up is white noises. Yes, these really accentuate transitions and buildups and they really carry the intro uh, like my teammates carry me in Warzone. Yes, more automation, yes. All right, let's layer even more animal sounds. I'm gonna transform this camel <laughs> into his sound effects by using stuff like a distortion, pitch shifting, uh, reverb, stuff like that. And now the final most important step, you add this sound. All right. So I think it's safe to say I made a fucking slapper with these animal sounds. Let's take a listen to the final product. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just me goofing around uh, a bit less serious than what I usually do. Uh, this actually helped me get out of my creative block. Goes to show, you don't always have to be super serious about making music. If you want some more insight on the boring part of all this, like how specifically I manipulated and transformed those sounds into big fat basses, I will be uploading more in-depth tutorials on my Patreon page. Uh, and once you sign up, you get instant access to all previous tutorials, previous sample packs, previous FL Studio projects, previous exclusive music, a bunch of stuff. Leave a comment down below on what you think I should try to manipulate into a banger next. Hit that like and subscribe button. Share it around with your friends. Help me get to 2K, please. And I'll try to be more active again on here because you guys are really supportive of these videos and I love doing them. So anyways, that's all for me. I'm out. Peace.